Hello everyone, so I am Laya with another new video and let's get started. And this is going to be the second video of GPET MCQ series, subject Pharmacology. And I am discussing today Pharmacokinetics and the subtopics are Absorption and Distribution. So let's go. So first question for today is here. I am not going to read the question today. You can see it on the display. But I will explain the answer. And answer for this question is oral route. And answer here is diclofenac sodium. From the principle of pharmacokinetics, we know that acidic drug will be unionized in acidic environment and it will be absorbed in unionized form. So acidic drug will be absorbed from acidic environment and so diclofenac sodium is the only acidic drug given in the option. So answer is B. And answer of this question is B. By altering gut motility, tricyclic antidepressants will affect the oral absorption of many drugs because they are having anticholinergic property. So they will delay gastric emptying and also retard the absorption of other drugs. And the answer here is lipid solubility of the drugs because after the topical application of the drug systemic absorption will primarily depend on lipid solubility of the drug and the answer here is a passive diffusion as we know passive diffusion is mainly based on concentration gradient so this is the main transportation mechanism for majority of the drugs. And answer of this question is C. That diffusion of drugs across the cell membrane is affected by extent of ionization of drug molecules. As we know that drug will be absorbed only when it is present in unionized form. So, and option C has to be the answer of this question. And the answer is A. Blood flow through the capillary. Pay attention to the last words of the question which are other than those in the brain. So, if brain is included, then answer will be lipid solubility of the drug but the question is different here so the answer will be option a and the answer of the question is dopamine as we know in the previous video of anti parkinson drugs that we take levodopa for the treatment of parkinson's disease because it is the precursor of dopamine and it is able to cross the blood brain barrier but dopamine itself cannot cross blood brain barrier so the answer here is dopamine and the answer is option b that it is ph dependent we have to pay attention to the question here that there is except which means that we have to see which are the properties of active transport. So it is specific, it's saturable and it also requires metabolic energy but it is not pH dependent. So option B is the answer. And the answer is option C that is high plasma protein binding. As we know that volume of distribution is inversely proportional to high plasma protein binding. So PPB will be high. So drug will remain only into the plasma. 
so volume of distribution will be low. Here the answer is D all of the above. Here we need to see the property of BBB. So option A is right that there is a P glycoprotein efflux carrier in brain capillary cells. There is also tight junctions present and there is no paracellular space. There are also enzymes like monoamine oxidase and cholinesterase which are present. So these all are the properties of BBB. So option D is right. So answer here is volume of distribution option C because loading dose is the product of volume of distribution and desired plasma drug concentration. So here I have some questions for you guys and you can answer them into the comment section. So the first question is that you have to give the formula to calculate volume of distribution. And the next question is that you have to give the formula to calculate loading dose and maintenance dose. So thank you so much for completing the video. If you like my content then please subscribe to the channel and also press bell icon. Don't forget to share with your friends and classmates and upcoming GPET experience. Thank you.